Now then, a group of drag performers of Turkish, Kurdish, Cypriot and Southwest Asian heritages are doing their bit to raise money for Turkey and Syria following the earthquakes and they're fundraising in style with a cabaret. So let's find out a little bit more about it. Joining me now is the co-founder of the Harem of No One, Toby Kide, and also performers Darling and Tahini. So good to see Hello. you all, Hello. all Thanks looking fabulous, us. I have to say, making me feel incredibly <laughs> dowdy. Um, Toby, first of all, tell us a little bit about this fundraiser. Well, um, this fundraiser uh, came as an idea, obviously, like after uh, the horrible disasters hit and we were already going to have our um, monthly show at uh, Bethnal Green Working Men's Club at the, uh, today. Um, but like um, following the events, we decided very quickly to uh, change it into a fundraiser. Um, and um, we have um, friends who are in the field um, who are back in Turkey and um, who are in contact with uh, people who have affected by this disaster, um, and especially queer people and uh, sex workers who are um, part of the most vulnerable group, um, and they have limited care, uh, access to um, health and um, basic needs. And public services and aid as well, sadly. That's that's the reports that we're getting. Yeah. So you're worried about discrimination against some groups then, are you, yeah. in yeah. the aid effort? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, um, that's that's the reports that we're getting. And um, also the columnist, Yildo Star, has written uh, a thorough uh, article about it. So we've decided to uh, just support their efforts uh, we're not activists ourselves, but um, we are good in one thing, that's to entertain um, and to perform. So we decided to uh, make a call uh, for people from our community as well. They have answered um, back. Um, they have supported our call. Fantastic. And the show's tonight? Yes. yes. Show is tonight. So tell us a little bit about it. What will you be doing? So we are actually two floor now. We have the main stage and we have downstairs. We are with uh, Istanbul Queer Art Collective, Makfa, Meet, Sands of Times, and the uh, LGBTQI uh, Cypriot Diaspora and Old Beats. So there will be lots of live music, singing, and the downstairs there will be like a little bit kind of like a fair that uh, some art pieces will, will, will be sold. Uh, uh, oh, for so. an auction to raise yeah, money. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, fantastic. So it would be like live performance and then downstairs a little bit more chill with some art pieces and yeah. And do you exactly. two perform together? Do you all three perform together? Or are you doing separate yeah. acts? Yeah. Or? We do it together, Both. we do it separate. But we mix, <laughs> the whole mix night, it up. The whole night yeah. is a whole harem of no one extravaganza. Like, we, <laughs> this is what we do, we entertain, but we throw yeah. shows. And we do an important gathering already, as Toby was saying, because our gathering is basically creating a safe space for mm. everyone and anyone, and also celebrating our culture in doing that. So. While doing this important gathering, we said, let's do it even more important because in this time we need to, um, you know, help the ones in need, actually. Yeah, and, and what do you think that does to the, to the, to the mood and the atmosphere when mm. people, it, they, they're there to have good fun, you're going to mm. yeah. provide a great show, but at the same time there's a very serious reason behind it. Do you think that could affect the atmosphere at all? What do you think? Ooh, that could affect the atmosphere in a good way, I do want to believe. And we do want to help the LGBT people on the on the earthquake zone, so I'm sure that will affect in a good way. So it'll be yeah. a big motivating factor. Yeah. yeah, well, it's it's quite hard to like show up on the stage and entertain when when there's like such a a, a big uh, tragedy, really. Uh, but uh, we also believe in the power of coming together. Um, I th we think that it's healing and the, and the power of um, art um, and we come together with this motivation really to, to do something well then that's like what we know so we can't really do anything else that's that's yeah. we thought that that's the bit we can do even though even though having fun is kind of like not the easiest thing after all of this but that's all we 
we can do for mm. now. It's put to a good cause. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. tell us yeah, exactly. how you all came together in the first place. How many oh. of you are there? And and it's called the Harem of No One. Is Harem right? of No One. Where does that come from? Oh, yeah. I guess um, tonight will be the crowdest one, as in like yeah. performance and all of us. It will be yeah. our crowdest night. How did we come together? Well, the, yeah, the, 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 har the harem of no one is maybe the name is not intuitive at, at first, but uh, we were inspired by the harems of the past, where the the, the, the emperors had uh, women as slaves and they were confined in in, in a forbidden palace or or the like. Um, but we, we we took that and we we changed that. Uh, into yeah. harem of no one, so getting rid of the owners, getting rid of the uh, emperor, so that uh, it's just us liberated and we're just creating, um, trying to create beauty. And, uh, and challenging stereotypes, is that all part of it as well, do you think? Uh, it, of course it is, yeah. babe. I'm sitting in front of you with a beard on. And I'm like, <laughs> obviously, we're, we're breaking boundaries. And also, like, it's it's one of our thing that, like, we... One of our main point is that you can be queer, you can be from the Swana region, you can be queer, I'm from Cyprus, you can be queer, I'm from Cyprus. And we're trying to put that out there, because for us, being queer sometimes lines with that your culture and your space that you grow up, it might not be the most hostile, but yeah. you can still be in contact and connected to your culture. So we're trying to put that out. And do you think the message is getting through? Do you think attitudes are changing? Oh, yes, I think so, because we're receiving so many great feedback uh, from, from people who are attending our events, um, from straight people, from queer people, from people from the Kurdish community, Turkish community, Cypriot community, and also for a lot from British people as well. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're, we're okay. quite encouraged by this 